Arian Foster went to college in Tennessee, and he now plays football for the Houston Texans. And he's coming out. In fact, he came out. He came out as secular. This is a new thing here, and it's awesome. Check it out. Sure, Arian Foster is a star running back, but he's now being called the first active pro athlete to stand up for secular Americans. Foster is speaking out for the first time about why he doesn't believe in God. ESPN The Magazine senior writer Tim Cude wrote the story. He joins us now over the phone. Tim, Foster grew up Muslim, read the Quran and the Bible. Why doesn't he believe in God? Well, Carrie, I think there's a complicated answer to that question, and a lot of it has to do with the way Arian was brought up. He was brought up Muslim, but he was brought up in a very free-thinking family where they encouraged their, their kids to sort of take different looks at things. And Arian always had sort of a scientific bent. I think that he always, he told me that he always looked at things and, and looked at this idea of a higher power through sort of a skeptical lens. And, and a lot of it was that he didn't, he didn't quite understand you know, the, the way that people used God to inject into, into everyday life, you know, and, and to use a modern example is the way that, you know, players say that God helped them win the game. And it just it didn't ever didn't ever work with him. And so he, he did read the Koran, he did read the Bible, and he did that as sort of research to try to, to find his own truth, as he puts it. And I think that that's that's really the the where it, where it started. And and he he avoids using the word atheist because he says he has an open mind and and he may change his mind someday. He may he may come around to the idea that that he was wrong. So it's it's not it's not ironclad. But but for right now he he does he does actively say that that he believes in science because science is provable and that he doesn't believe in God. I love this guy. Now, I need everybody to understand, especially my audience, the people who listen to this show. We're in our own little bubble here, so to us, it's almost like you watch that and you're like, where's the story, bro? But the reality is, our bubble is not, definitely not the rest of the world, but even not the rest of the U.S. You know, I mean, it's... I mean, I guess if you have thick enough skin and you're raised in a very liberal, open-minded area, it is more of a, so what, if you say, I'm an atheist or I'm an agnostic or I'm secular or whatever. But to a lot of people in the country and definitely a lot of people around the world, if you say that, it's like, whoa, bro! Now, according to the most recent polls, it's 23% of the American people are non-religious. But even that, it's such like a non-committal thing where people say, like, no, I just don't belong to a particular religion. But many of those people say, I'm spiritual. Or many of those people are deists, so they believe in a god, but not a god of any particular religion. It's just this broad concept of god. So it's 23%, but that's very... It's a non-committal 23%. And the ones that are actually willing to talk about it, it's a much lower percentage. Maybe 3%, if that. So... It, there's a battle here, guys. That's what I'm trying to say. And what he's doing is very brave and great. And this is something that makes other people go, oh, so they don't have fangs and they don't want to suck the blood out of my baby's neck. Because a lot of people think a lot of crazy fucking shit about non-believers, man. Uh, I, we've spoken about this before, but in the eyes of many people, to say I'm an atheist or I'm a non-believer is the equivalent of saying I am immoral. A lot of people hear that when you say I'm a non-believer. They go, oh, so you, you don't believe in right and wrong? Now, of course, that's absurd and that's ridiculous. But a lot of people think that. So the idea is to basically copy a page out of the gay rights movement where people say, yeah, I'm gay and I'm a normal person just like everybody else. And you liked me, you know, before you heard I was gay, so now I said it. It, nothing changed, so accept us. And that worked. Now secular people are starting to do the same thing. And just to give you some facts here real quick, understand that in seven states in America, there are still laws on the books saying atheists cannot run for public office in those obviously deeply conservative states. Now those are unconstitutional laws, so it's that's illegal at a federal level. You Of course you can run for office if you're uh, an atheist. But the fact that the laws are still on the books and not repealed speaks to a mindset. They don't prioritize getting rid of that. Now imagine for a second laws were still on the books that said black people can't run, Jews can't run, gays can't run. If there was a specific law targeting them, everybody would be like, whoa, what the fuck? What are you doing? It's there for atheists. Nobody says dick. So again, it shows you a mindset. 
Uh, and we're also the last group, literally, that anybody would vote for in all the polls. Even in America, Muslims finish above atheists. And that's stunning because there's a lot of anti-Muslim uh, bigotry in America. But atheists are below Muslims in terms of who the American people would vote for. That's incredible, man. So, uh, I've experienced it too where people have reached out to me on Facebook, for example, and they've said, look, man, you know, my mom kicked me out or my family kicked me out when they heard I was atheist. We still have a long fight, a long battle ahead.